Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Um, so on my Instagram I had asked if y'all would be interested in me doing a back to school video and it was a hundred percent yes. <laughs> so thank you very much for that. So this is my back to school video. Um, we're mainly going to be talking about the planner I use, how I do online scheduling, um, and first off, let's go ahead and take a look at my little school um, box right here. I've got a lot of different things in here and we'll get more into that later but just so you know that's where I keep everything related to school. Um, I do live in an apartment with a shared room so there's just you know not a ton of space where I can put stuff so I like to keep all of this in one spot so I just know where everything's at sorry I have you guys balancing on something that might you might fall off of hoping that does not happen <laughs> okay so first off this is my 2020 2021 academic calendar I just got it yesterday and I'm absolutely in love with this print and then let me open it up to so it has the monthly view and then also the weekly view and a really nice thing about the weekly view is that each day it will tell you you know what the date is you can schedule stuff here but then it also has this column over here where you can make your list of to do's and then you can check them off as you finish them. So that is super nice. So what I've done so far with my planner is I've gone and set up my entire first week of school. So I've put everything in there. Um, so like my Monday isn't that busy. I have an institute class and then I have work, but then Tuesday is really busy where I have a couple of classes and then I have work as well. So especially the first week, I wanted to, you know, put in the time that the class starts at and also what the room number is. Um, most of my uni classes, um, I only have two different buildings I'll be in. And so they're all pretty close together, but I just want to make sure <laughs> I'm in the right place. Um, I am going to read the rest of my syllabi this weekend and put in anything that is due within the first two weeks of classes. I'll go ahead and put those in here on whatever date they're due and then I can just go ahead and put a little check mark um, once those are finished. So very excited for this. I love how big it is. It is, um, let's see. It's a little bit smaller than a notebook, but I like that it's not tiny. So this is the perfect size for me. So that is my planner. All right. Next, let's talk about some of my online um, scheduling. So most of my scheduling, I just use, um, you know, the little calendar. Where is it? <laughs> the little calendar that comes on the iPhone. That's kind of like my personal favorite. I put all of my information in there, anything I'm doing on whatever day. Literally use this on a daily basis. It's super great. So again, like on Monday, I have those two classes, the Institute class in the morning and then a gender communication in the afternoon. And then I have work and I've already put in the locations of those, which building, which um, room number. So that is super great. The first week of classes, I do have a couple of extra things that I'm attending. Um, like there's a self defense class that's only happening the first two weeks of school. So I've got that in there as well. And I do have all these classes repeating. So if I were, let me go back to like this Monday one. So gender communications shows that it starts on that day and it repeats weekly until the week before finals. 
So every week that I have classes between the first week of school and the week before finals, when we'll be meeting regularly in class, is already in my calendar. I've taken out the ones for like um, fall break, Thanksgiving break, um, Labor Day, any holidays that we're off. I already have everything programmed into here. So every week, usually on Friday, um, I'll be going in and doing weekly planning in my planner and write down whatever's happening that week. So I already have it in my phone and I just pull up my phone and I'm like, okay, let's write down everything that's happening and then we'll grab all of my syllabi, we'll put in any assignments that are due and kind of go from there. And of course, this is just what I'm doing for like the first week and first two weeks really of school and we'll kind of see what goes from there. If I need to just put all of my assignments in my planner, um, I might just go ahead and do that. But I think the weekly planning will put me at a pretty good pace. All right, let's look at some of more of the online um, different apps and things that I'm using. So there are two more that I want to use. I haven't really used them yet. One of them is Evernote. Um, so when you pull up Evernote, it looks something like this. So it gives you the option to make different notebooks. So I've created a couple of different notebooks for some of my different classes, like my capstone, um, and then communication and close relationships. Within a notebook, you can do a couple of different things. You can add something to do. Like if I have an assignment for that class, I can add it in there. You can set some reminders for yourself as well. Another super cool thing is it does come with a bunch of templates. So different things you can do. So for one of my classes, I just kind of threw this one in there. So this template helps you to kind of reflect on things. So every week it'll ask you to fill this in. So what went well in week one, you'll fill that in. And then you'll also make note of anything to start, stop, or continue for the following week, which I think is such an amazing idea. So I'm very excited to start using this. Um, I also have my study life. So I don't have anything in there currently. I'm going to see just how well I can get by just with my Google Calendar and with my planner. If I need something more where I need to just focus on my academics, then I think I would go ahead and start using my study life. You can add in all of your classes, all of your assignments. Um, so if in the future I start using that, I'll let you guys know. All right, so that takes care of all of the different calendar things that I've got going on. So I am going to go ahead and come over here to my little school box. And I'm, this is my main binder. My sister sent me this sticker for my birthday and I think it is absolutely wonderful. So. I also have another one on my laptop. It's a nice little reminder, plus it's super cute. So with each of these, I've got, you know, the little tab dividers for each of my classes. So for example, let's go to this one. So I've got my portfolio class. I've listed the date and the time. I didn't put the room number there because it's in so many other places. Um, and currently the only thing I have in there is my syllabus. So one thing I plan to do, um, within the next week before school starts is I'm going to read through the syllabus, mark up anything that I need to remember. I've already glanced through it so I can understand what's going on, especially with the COVID-19 restrictions, how we all have to wear masks in, in class and whatnot. So I'm going to read through that. Um, and I made sure that I've already ordered all the textbooks that I need. Most of them are already here. I just have two more that are coming in. So one of them should be here today. And then the other one will be here on Tuesday. So very excited for that. Um, and then just in the back here, I've got a couple of extra things. A blue book if I need those for tests. Um, 
and you know just a couple of extra things so this binder I will carry with me the first couple weeks of classes until I start getting lots of papers to put in here um, and then this will just turn into my binder that's a catch-all where I'll keep all of my past assignments and where I just keep all the papers throughout the semester. I'll likely have to upgrade to you know a bigger binder more likely a two inch but for now I'm gonna go with this. Um, my next favorite thing is this little folder. This is more than just your traditional you know like open and shut folder where there's one side, two side, and maybe the little, um, what are those called? The brads, the clasp things in the middle, and then the two pockets. This I found a couple semesters ago. It has been a lifesaver. It is amazing. So this is a folder, but it actually has different pockets. So in total, there are, I think, eight pockets um, in this which is the perfect amount for me. I can keep all the things I need in here. So with this, I will just put in um, any uh, assignments or readings or loose papers that I'll need for that week of classes. Does that make sense? Um, so most of them right now are kind of empty. After I read through my syllabi, um, I usually end up just switching everything over to here and having the syllabi within this for the remainder of the semester so I can just always have it with me. But there's that. Very excited for this. These are pretty cheap actually. I think they're like four dollars usually like either at the bookstore or at Walmart. So this is very handy um, whether you're you know in college or if you're in middle grade or high middle, um, junior high, or high school. Very good resource to keep everything together but not have to lug around a binder. <laughs> so, very excited for that. Um, so this semester I'm taking a total of, well, including in, um, a voluntary non-credit religious class, I'm taking a total of eight classes. <laughs> so I have two different um, notebooks. One's a five subjects, one's a three subject. So on this one I put down all five of my classes that are in person. So I just notated on the front what they are and I put them in order of like when they start during the week. So like the first one is Institute. I have Institute very first thing Monday morning. Gender Communications is Monday afternoon, Capstone is Tuesday morning, Portfolio is Tuesday afternoon, and then Career Strategies is Thursday afternoon. So they're in that order, and then they each have um, the little pocket as well. And I also, you know, put the name of the class, the date, and the location. And if I need to put anything in here, I can. And then these are the three classes. Well, two of these classes um, are not like regular meeting. And then this one is only meeting the second half of the semester. So same type of deal with those. Let's see. Um, I do have a couple of binders in here. So like I've got this, this one for my capstone. This is my senior thesis. Um, I've already decided on my topic. So I've been collecting different articles and whatnot about that and just putting that into this binder. Um, kind of same thing with my portfolio. Anything I've written or would think would be to be good to include I've put in here and I'll kind of work through that later in the semester. Um, and right behind that portfolio binder I have two of the three books that I need for that class so they're all just in one spot. I've got my novel writing binder. I'm writing a novel, so all of my notes and everything are in here. Let's see. And then just in my school box, I've got a couple of more books and resources that um, could
could help me possibly with some of these assignments. Um, they're not textbooks, they're just things I found that could be interesting. So, such as the interpersonal communication book. I don't have a class that this is specifically for, but I feel like it could be good for um, a lot of my classes help kind of influence those. So I've got those. Just putting some things back. It's always good to just clean up as you go rather than having a million things around you all the time. Strong supporter of that. Almost there. in there. This is one thing I also do. I make sure that anytime there is a spiral bound notebook or planner or whatever, I just always put a pen in there so that whenever I need it, I have to scramble around looking for a pen. So that's super nice. All right. The last thing with this would be the weekly meal planner. This is something I got a while ago. Um, that I haven't been using, but I want to, and especially with how crazy my school and work schedule is, <laughs> would be super good. So it maps out an entire week of meals. And you go ahead, you know, and put down what you're going to have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack for each of those days. And then you also can make a grocery list. So very excited for this, where you can just do that. And then the back of these are blank. Um, so as each week finishes, if you want to, you can just rip it out. So that's very nice as well. And it does have a couple of pockets in the back where if you had like coupons or anything, you could put them in there too. So very excited for that. Let's see. Did I cover everything I wanted to? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so that is some of my back to school. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll probably do a post on the first day of school kind of showing what's in my backpack. So keep an eye open for that. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>